had to get out of the house today because I was so angry because everyone had been invited to Michael Ayla's dinner party but me. And now the more I think about it, he may have invited me a long time ago and I just forgot. But anyway, I called him up and cussed him out for not inviting me. You know? Don't you think he should uh, be cursed out? I mean, he could have invited me last night. He saw me last night. He could have said, are you coming to my dinner party tomorrow? And he didn't. Now, if he doesn't want me to come to his tacky fucking dinner party, then I won't come. But all he has to do is not invite me, and that's what he's done. He's not invited me, as far as I can remember. Of course, if he did invite me and I forgot, then I owe him an apology for calling him up and cursing him out on his message machine. But he's not going to get one because he's trash. She is so beautiful today, Eddie. Yeah, it's a nice day out. Temperature in the low 60s. Semi cloudy sky. I guess we're working our way to a rainstorm, but you couldn't convince me of that for now. Anyway, I have was been broke all day and haven't been able to call my girl Cheryl. And maybe she's still down on Beach Street or Lord knows what she's doing. She's going to France tomorrow, 24 hours from now. Anyway, she's headed off to Paris and I just think she's absolutely cute and wonderful and all of that. Well, I think I'll turn this off and um, eat some more of my dinner here. Think some more about Michael Ailey. Wonder if I want to go at that party or not. Why nobody's trying to I'm so mad. I'm just so mad. I mean, I don't even want... Why does he have to have a party tomorrow night for me not to go to? It what, really makes me night? upset. You've been invited for that. Have I? I don't know. The thing is, I don't want to go. That's what I'm angry about. Well, then don't go and don't be angry. <laughs> then I'll miss something. All my friends will be there. There has to be something better to do than go to that fucking party tomorrow. That's what. That's all that bothers me. Is I don't want to have to go to that stupid, meaningless party and bounce around with a bunch of club kids on a tambourine. Oh my God, you had to show me that. I mean, in terms of art, set, and design, this has been pa this is passive the month. Right? This is hell. This is even passive three months. I haven't seen a good pass like this in a long time. It's a charcoal boiled hamburger. So Nelson, this machine does not have a light like you can tell if you're on it. Yes, it does. It's just hard to see in the daylight. Oh, it's the one above the eyepiece? Yeah. The electronic view. Oh my god, Eddie, what am I going to do? My life is just angst. It's just turned into pure angst. Oh, no. Maybe you should... Uh, Chill out for a little while and let everything clean out of your system. And I think I have to quit smoking marijuana and detoxify. Well, that's a start. That's, that's a, a start. You don't think it's enough? I think it's definitely a start. <laughs> you know, and you'll feel a lot better and everything. You know, your little electrical systems and chemical systems. Oh, that's true. They'll get all tuned up again. Right. Like going to the garage and getting a tune-up. You know, I have to go by Kenan's today if she's home and pick up some uh, fabric that I left there. Yeah? Got black and yellow striped fabric. I want to make togas out of it or whatever those Arab men wear. Those kind of robes. Caftans. Well, caftans are more like for, you know, retired interior decorators at Fire Island. No, the Arab guys wear it. Arabs wear caftans? Of course yeah. they do. And the, the turbans are on their heads. Cheryl found those beautiful glasses in the cab. They are just beautiful. These aren't the ones I found. Oh, you're right. Those aren't the ones she found. She found some others. Eddie has some nice ones, too. These remind me of my brother's 50s glasses. I can't take my picture, though, when I'm conscious of it. Okay. They really look great, Cheryl. Look Do at they? this beautiful dog. Did you see them black out? Did you see those dogs? Well, I'll have to call Kenneth and see if she's at home. 
I maybe didn't sleep enough last night. I'm just cross and angry, angry like a child, and I shouldn't be. I'm 41 years old. You're 41? I feel like a disgruntled child. Are you really 41? Yeah. I do. I look 51. I look like Rachmaninoff right before he died <laughs> with his bags under my eye. Stop.